are we live? Yeah, we're oh. live. <laughs> hey, gay. <yeah. laughs> Hi, everybody. <laughs> oh, Woo. my goodness. Oh, it's going. Here, I'm going to move this over a little bit. I feel like it's not Can in Can everybody right hear us okay? I hope so. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hello, Ooh. hello. Hello, 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 everyone. Regular guy, Eric, Pam, Tracy, Douglas, Tim, Pam. I hello, hello. Can... Yes, we can. Awesome. Okay. Okay. Cool. Very good. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. <laughs> oh, look. Oh. They can see you. I'm in my comfy <laughs> hey, Say hello. The camera's not Come in here. the right place. Come here. Do you like our wigs? Do we look good today? Tim looks, wants to say hi. Tim looks especially good, doesn't he? I need to get a little trim. <laughs> so, how was everybody's week? It looks like the original Beatles. <laughs> Hello, Nightmares. Hello, Batman Mike. Um, hello, boy. hello, hello, Nightmare Treasures. Hello, Douglas. Tracy Kicks. I can't see my little Miss Q, or... Crazy Q, Michael Sam's in the house. Michael Sam's. Hoot, hoot. Hi, Tony F. How are you doing? Oh, oh my oh. goodness. Let me get Rosie. Back. Hey, Rosie. Yeah, puppy wanted to come and visit. She's a big puppy. She tried being a lap dog. Yeah. Hello, Pam. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, Tim. Hey, Tim. How are you doing? Yeah, I said hello oh, to okay. Tim. Try not to miss anyone. All the puppies right here. <laughs> well, guys, um, guy. how was your week? How's everybody doing? A week since we've been here before. Uh, I don't know about everybody else, but it's been doing nothing but raining. It was oh, a nice miserable. day today. We planned on having a dollar yard sale this past weekend, and we weren't able to because it rained we couldn't it rained friday saturday yesterday it didn't rain so we actually hi huntsman we actually took the um day afternoon off yesterday and we went kayaking and fishing <coughs> needless to say we caught a whole bunch i mean a whole bunch you wouldn't believe how much water we caught <laughs> That was it. Water. We've had so much rain here. We we actually had flooding. It was so bad. The lake is up almost three foot. Oh, it's more than that, I think. Yeah. Three foot. Is it said. three yep. foot? Okay. Three foot. It's, it's a big lake, too, so that's a lot of water. So I'm going to say we do not have a guest tonight. I failed at my job. <laughs> it is my fault. Um... I, I and I keep blaming everything on the flip house, but it is. It's the flip house. I mean, I'm I'm there today. We worked past four. Yeah, we've been super super we've busy been, because we're so close. We're like working longer and everything. Hi, Pam. Pam, hello. Oh, is Pam Pam there? Yeah. <laughs> um. So I feel that getting a guest Miss Barbecue as soon as the um flip house is done. There will be a guest every single week. I'm going to try and get right. somebody for next week. But we wanted to talk about something um, today. And it's so funny. Man, I believe things happen for a reason. That you meet people or you buy something or you see something or you experience something or whatever. I believe things happen for a reason and happen in a certain way just because. So the topic we want to spend a few minutes talking about. Hello, Hudson. Hello, Erica. The one thing that we want to talk about tonight is eBay. Yes. Yes. We have really been studying eBay. How many people here sell on eBay? Um, Go ahead, type in the comments there. See how many y'all sell on eBay. And I know there's people here that sell on Macari and Poshmark. What else is there? 
D D pop or D pop or something yeah, like that. I, I, and I know we sell on Facebook marketplace and of course we sell at flea markets and yard sales. We all do it. Um, so yeah, a regular guy does Erica does um rosie said she does rosie does I think okay Nightmare treasure does so we've been really looking at ebay and we've been really like studying other youtube channels we've been studying things online and michael sam eric we really think and i i don't know if you guys agree and if you've heard about it but i really think that ebay has an algorithm just like youtube what do you think guys do you think that it has an algorithm? We have not been able to list as faithfully since we've been doing the flip house. Before before we were doing the flip house, her and I would list at least 10 items each. That a was day. our goal, 10 items each or more a day. And when we were doing that, our sales were like way, way up, up here, here, way up here. Way I'm, up. Talk, I'm talking thousands of dollars up here where it's thousands of dollars down here because of the flip house let's let's just say no an eight thousand dollar month was a good month and now it's a two thousand dollar month those are just figures i'm just throwing out and we started listing again a lot to see what happens and all of a sudden our sales went like this it was like step ladder going up yeah and it's like we're taking leaps and bounds and we're going back up to where we was so i've seen different people say that there must be an a lot uh, uh, algorithm algorithm <laughs> on ebay and i'm believe i'm starting to believe that they're right that your listings will show up higher in the higher up in the listings when people are searching in the people searches yeah so and there's some people on here they're saying they've heard the same thing they agree um but what's so funny is we were sitting downstairs. We booked our hotel for my oldest son's wedding. Um, we're going to be going to Kentucky the first week in September. Hi, they're mother. getting they're getting married at the Castle and Key, and we're actually going to make it a little vacation. We're going we're going a couple days early and staying a couple days longer. Um, but anyhow. I was watching things on YouTube and I don't know if you guys have heard of Hustling Hooks. Hustling Hooks is a YouTube channel. They have about 18,000 followers. Um, they don't put out videos every day, but they put out quality good videos throughout the week. And they popped up in my algorithm today and it was about eBay they got um they got suspended, suspended for seven days seven days and guys they are full-time resellers he quit his job just a couple of months ago he became a full-time reseller with his wife and he had a big corporate job with Cisco, the food company. Sounds good, Tony. And um, they got suspended one time for three days. Yep. And then they just now got suspended for seven days. So just like they were saying, you know, that's their income every single week. And... Um, and now they're losing a whole week like they can't list basically what the suspension is their items can still get bought yes but like she said they can't list anything and they do they list eight hours a day and, i guess and not only that but instead of their stuff showing up for like even regulars on their channel or regulars that buy from them have to search for their stuff it's not showing up in the up in the searches it's like way down in the searches because of the suspension so we adventures with victoria hi thank you for stopping in victoria um what they got suspended for was a a recalled we product item from cuisinart. cuisinart and the item was actually recalled back in 2016. a cuisinart blade we looked it up because they didn't say exactly they we knew it was um because of a recall with cuisinart and we knew it was a blade so we looked it up 
so that we knew. Um, but there are people that take those Cuisinart machines and they take them apart and they just sell pieces and parts. It's actually a really big market on right. eBay if you look at it. Um, but yeah, just talking about eBay. I mean, it was so funny that that came up, but man, that made him and I really think we only have our one eBay store and maybe what they have. And for those of you that are, are just starting out or are, have been on eBay, as long as us, it might not be a bad idea. They have a second eBay. They have one in her name and one in his name. Now, we have an eBay store. I would think that they do, too, just in her name. And now they're going to do another store, or they do have another store. But that's what we were talking about was having a second store because if that does happen, they just list like five or ten items on that store a week. And now they're doing nothing but listing on that store. So they're guess, still getting their sales. But those of you, I know like Crazy Q, uh, Little Miss Q, her and I were talking today. And this is her dream is to be a full-time reseller. And, you know, getting... Um, everything listed and organized and everything. We were talking about all of that. So little Miss Q, it might not be a bad idea for you to have a backup store just in case this happens to you. By the way, everybody, please keep little Miss Q in your prayers. She is doing better and I know she won't mind, but she had a little mishap a couple of days ago, but please, everybody, please pray for her. Um, she needs it. Everybody needs it, though, you know. Um, <clears throat> Douglas, they didn't list it as a new blade. They just had listed it, it as, as parts. And because of the recall that was on that blade, it was due to the rivets on the blade that would come off and cause could cause injury and stuff. And that's what the recall was about. Cousinart actually had a, a recall on 22 of their products in 2016. And it was all had to do with the blades. And I see Little Miss Q actually put up the word a Vero. There is a Vero list for eBay. And I'm going to say, him and I, we, we don't, don't look at we're it. We're going to. When this flip house is done, we're going to make it part of our weekly schedule once a week. Check that list. Because if you list something on eBay that they ding you and then you can't list for three days you know for us that would be just like hustling hooks that would be detrimental to us when we get back to truly full time um when we're not doing the house i mean it would be i mean we wouldn't have been able to do this house if it wasn't for our reselling business um and I, I think Erica would probably say the same thing in the chat. Um, it wouldn't have happened if we wouldn't have had the savings that we had to be able to pay the taxes and the lawyer and then start buying all the product and stuff that we needed to for this house. It wiped us out, but it's okay. We'll get it back when the house comes. Very true, regular barbecue guy. I, I understand. <laughs> what did he say? He had to pull something off because of a voluntary recall. Okay. All right. So you know what we're talking and about. And there are certain things. If you look at that Vero list, there are certain things that you can't even list. What was the one shoe? I don't even remember. There's no. certain types of shoes where the company does not even, they don't even allow you to list. Um even a used shoe from their company. It's just, um, it's crazy. I mean, you got to really watch, you got to be prepared. And, and I guess what I would say is for us, we're not prepared with a backup plan. If something would happen to us with our eBay store and we wouldn't be able to list three days, I wouldn't really care about, but a whole week. Oh my gosh. I don't know what we do. It messes up. It would really mess us up. And I think you all that sell online would, would say the same thing. Would say the same thing. So, 
anybody have any questions or anything? Oh, very true. Very true, Douglas. Yeah, they. It, it's out there. I, I mean, I know there's others too, probably, that have had the same issues and different things about the Vero list or getting shut down. It's just something that just earlier today we talked about, okay, what are we going to talk about tonight? And we said eBay. And then all of a sudden that popped up and yeah. we watched that. So we just wanted to pass the information along. I mean, don't be afraid to go check out their channel too. I mean, yeah. you know. And Victoria, um, she just made a good point too with the cross posting. We've focused on eBay for years and we know when we are done with this house, we do know that we're going to try and figure out this whole cross posting. Like I'd really like to get into Poshmark. He doesn't really like to do clothing. So I could maybe do all the clothing for Poshmark and eBay. And then, you know, we need to look at Macari. We haven't looked at that, but I know Hustling Hook said that they just started doing, they've been re, full-time, re, she's been a full-time reseller for a couple of years and he just became full-time a few months ago. And they just started cross-posting in June. And it de definitely has been um, beneficial for them because of their sales and everything else. They can see a big difference. And imagine how many more people you're reaching. Like I always talk about, I like to list as much on eBay as I can because you're reaching such a larger, wider variety of people and across the world. I mean, we ship overseas, you know? So, yeah. Uh, Victoria, that's why all my items will never be only on eBay. Yeah, that's smart, Miss oh, Q. You're welcome, it Tracy is. Cakes. It is. Thank you for sharing info. Stumbling blocks are good to know about. Yeah, for sure. I mean, yeah. For sure. So I was really also if you go to Hustlin' Hooks, um, they the video they put out about being suspended, they actually have a pair of shoes that they're giving away from the ATL flipper. Okay. So he sent the shoes to Hustling Hooks. They're giving them away. If you comment your favorite color in the comments and then you go to the ATL flipper and you let him know that you were sent over by hustle and hooks. They're giving away a size 12, like rose gold Nike brand new shoe. Yeah. I mean, like that's his size. If we want them, I'd be like, you are rocking them rose gold tennis shoes. I'd be like, I will find you the right outfit and 53 year old man will be strutting down the street with his wife looking good. <laughs> I'd have to get a haircut though. This stuff is in my face. <laughs> Welcome uh, back, Tim. So guys, you know what? If you go to those channels and you check them out, do us a favor and tell them, hey, KT Treasures had a live. They were like really pumping you guys up. Um, because ATL Flipper, I just found him. He actually has some really great videos. Really great guy. He only he has less than a thousand, um, but he's getting close. He's very, very close. And Hustlin' Hooks, I've watched them for a while and they're amazing. They're inspiring. They're, they're really good to listen to. Like they are, I call them the pot and pan extraordinaire people. Like these people could go to Goodwill and find a pot for like four bucks and sell it for a hundred and some dollars. <laughs> it's crazy. I mean, there's so many people out there that do so many great things. It's, I've been really looking like I found Victoria. <coughs> I found Victoria and she has the morning show and I missed it today, Victoria. I'm sorry. Um, but I try to watch their morning show because I'm a morning person and they're on at 730. And it's just a, I'm going to call it a BS session, but it's so nice. There's so many wonderful people in there. And I found people on there, Cajun reseller i think his name is 
but there's other guys there's this gentleman that retired and is buying storage units and i think he does it all by himself but it's amazing it's truly amazing Miss barbecue said we need thing one and thing two shirts we do we do yeah, yeah. cool so what time is it 8 20. anybody did anybody say anything that we really really uh Bright orange tennis shoes. She would be 66. That's awesome. Awesome, Douglas. Anybody got any questions or anything on uh, eBay that they might need help with? I'm sure if we yeah. don't know somebody here, might. Somebody else here will. Any Definitely. Problems, anything happened exciting? Anybody have? Yeah. What, what was everybody's week? What, what else did we do this week that was exciting? Rain. Rain. Well, we went to the wedding last oh, Saturday, yeah. so we did talk about that. We did. Birch Bees products removed by eBay. Oh, Bert. Okay. There you go, guys. And Hudson's. Lysol. Oh, and Lysol. Lysol. Nice did you guys try to sell all that Lysol that you got on the pallet, Hudson's? Did you try to sell that on eBay and then you realized that you couldn't sell the Lysol? Because they got a pallet and they had a whole box of Lysol things. I'm wondering if that's how they found out or they just knew. But there you go, guys. Burt's Bees products. So Burt's Bees must have put a thing out where you're not allowed to sell their stuff, I bet. Don't use the word Velcro on eBay. I have heard about that, Velcro. Yep. Don't use the word Velcro. Anybody else have any little things? That's a good idea. Like, look, I now that'll stay in my head. I don't know if you guys are like me. But I things stick in my head like Burt's or the Burt's Bees now and the Lysol that'll stay in my head. I'll know right. I can't sell it on eBay. Um, I did know about the um, Velcro. My safe word is banana boat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Michael Sam's. There you go. Uh, what did he say? Went to Alabama, looked for a rolling tide, and all I found was a flat elephant. <laughs> and lego for i had something else gone. this week oh i have exciting news this is exciting for me wednesday at five o'clock i will be at pittsburgh international airport picking up my youngest son for the last time because he is done with the air force and he is coming home. <laughs> I'm so excited. I got tears in my eyes. Sorry, guys. It's been two years. It's It'll be two years in less than, well, yeah, less than a month. Erica and Zach's anniversary is, yeah. well. Coming up. Yeah, in August. Yep. And he hasn't been home since Erica and Zach got married two years ago in August. Yep. <gasps> Yay! Of course, you know what he's doing? He's moving to Florida. <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay because we already know we'll be going to Florida, so we're excited about Douglas that. Douglas said they tell they tell me if you're married to someone long enough, you start looking alike. All I can say is hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Gladys. Welcome to the channel. Uh, Avery's all in is in also. So Hello, anybody, Avery. did anybody else have anything else about eBay, eBay pointers, tricks, or anything that we should bring up or talk about? Um, AJ, what's the matter? She's whining. She wants out. Hold on, guys. Let me let her out. You gotta get out. All right, so it's just go. me. Oh, no, she's not going anywhere. Come on, let's go. That dog is scared of her own shadow. Oh, Lord, no kidding. All right, well, I guess we didn't have anything else to happen this week, did oh, we? Oh, yeah. What else happened this week? Oh, no, week? nothing, no. Just A lot rain. of rain. We went kayaking. Austin's coming home this week. Yeah, that's about it. Um, oh, we ripped off a porch today. Well, most of it. <laughs> the house we, is getting closer and closer. The house is getting closer and closer to being done. And today, what do we do? We add a project. <laughs> but it'll be done tomorrow. <laughs> they had walls built on the porch. One side had like a nice railing. The other wall on this, it was a solid wall. And then on the front, we're taking all that down and putting the nice railing the whole way around. 
So, yeah. Um, 29 years. Great. Awesome there, Mr. and Mrs. Barbecue. Oh, Mrs. Barbecue is gone, isn't she? Yeah. She's, where's he she said, at? He said, uh, unfortunately for her, he looks nothing like her. <laughs> <laughs> or she looks nothing like him. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yes. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Michael Sam, you're funny. Oh, <laughs> Michael Sam's is funny. Oh, we, we have a, we yeah, have, when we, the house project's done, we're going to be happy. You're right. Yeah. The house project is <laughs> right. Erica, Erica Weimer on here is my daughter. When that thing is done. Well, Erica and I got, for Mother's Day, we got massage packages where we get an hour massage and we get like a foot soak or something. Erica and I saved it so that when the house is done, we're going to go have an hour massage and get our Mother's Day gift that we, we, our husbands bought us. Our husbands are real good at like getting together and doing stuff for us Sam together. Ulrich, congrats. 31 years on August 25th. Am Amputee Adventures. Oh, Amputee Adventures. Thank you for stopping in. Thank you for stopping in. I didn't see you earlier. I don't look at the chat too much. So, <laughs> well, I just see much. For yeah. Time, so. so tired of the yucky house. Yep. Layla calls it the yucky house. <laughs> All right. Well, does anybody, and nobody had any other questions or anything? I don't no. look at the chat. It's too far away for me, and you're like right there. So, uh, guess what that means? It's Guess what time it's it time is. For... It's auction time. Auction time. Auction time. Oh, honey. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> go do your thing. All right. Does it matter what I start, what I start with? Or... I'm, I'm taking, taking the wig off because I am roasting. Yeah, don't talk until you get the microphone. Don't okay. talk until okay, you get the can everybody hear me over here? All right. So it doesn't matter what I do first. No, I had to take my wig off. My head was itchy. Okay. So what we did. Oh, can everybody hear me? Can you hear me now? You want your camera pointed that way? I could point it what way? Yeah, it is. It it's, it's. All right. Awesome. Awesome. It's auction time. It's auction time. All right. Go through the rules with the auction. Okay. Folks, everything Just so we have it covered. As is, where is, and let me turn on this here so that you know where to pay and all that good stuff. All right. There you go. If you don't have a PayPal account and you're interested in something, don't be afraid to email us. We do. We will take other forms of payment. We are not hard to get along with. Up the bid as is, where is, there's no guarantee, no returns unless it's a, an item that you see here and it's a, a whole like glass sitting there like so. Oh. And we send it to you, and it gets to you, and it's in pieces. That's a way we we'll accept returns. Something like that would happen. We'll take care of you. Don't worry. Uh, free shipping in the U.S. International. Pay the difference. Upon winning, if you haven't paid before, please pay on e um, PayPal at ktreasures18 at gmail.com, as you can see flying across the bottom of the screen there. Unless you want an invoice. There are a couple of people that we do know like to get invoices. Yep. Um, include your lot number, item description, your YouTube name, and your name and address for shipping. Items will be shipped out tomorrow. They'll be gone tomorrow, on their way to you by tomorrow. tomorrow. So. And don't be afraid. If you buy, if somebody's bidding on a lot and tomorrow. you don't win that lot and there was, say, a pink glass in there that you really like, ask them. Maybe they're willing to sell it to you because some people on here are resellers. So. Tomorrow, tomorrow. Can I go? Yeah, I guess you can rock and roll. I'm ready to. Okay, so if I go too fast, let them know. First lot is a DVD and Blu-ray lot. 
we totally cleaned out so there are a lot in each lot these are the blu-rays in this lot blu-ray and dvd lot that's pretty cool okay um i'm just gonna show the names i don't know that every time i talk i always talk so much and then i get so exhausted okay so these are the blu-rays this has two in it if i'm going too fast say something to tim i'm not watching the chat i always get in trouble because i go too fast yep, starting at 25. <laughs> that's right so right the blu-rays in here there's one two three four five that's six blu-rays in there and these are the movies species oh i see there's a glare sorry guys whoop all right this is rundown it's just in like a cardboard thing there's, there's actually a whole stack of these. Boyhood, that's in that also. Here's another one. Saturday Night Live. Uh, Treasure, oh no, wait. Saturday Night Live. Um, Saturday Night Live. Saturday Night Live. That's the same thing. And that's... That is Saturday Night Live. Um, this case, this has Sex in the City in it. There's nothing on the outside. And we have in time. Would it be better if I turn this light off? Oh, yeah. Possibly, yeah. In time. Can I do there that though? Won't that turn on? Turn off the uh, camera. All right, let me get some more out here. Yu-Gi-Oh movie. Grudge match and bullet to the head. Soul, Soul Survivors. Divergent. That's a good movie. The Jacket. The Exorcist. That's a good movie, too. I love sketchy movies. So does my granddaughter. <laughs> Into the Storm. Another good movie. Hide and Seek, Walking Tall, The Rock, $25. Domestic Disturbance, Enough, I got a whole bunch more here guys, whole bunch more, there is one disc in here that's not in the case and it's called Next. We got Red Dragon, um, Black Brigade, Hush, another Yu-Gi-Oh! movie, Gone Baby Gone, Second Hand Lions, never even heard of that, um, Aliens vs. Predator, another scary movie. What are you looking for? They're in these. Oh, okay. Um, okay, we did that one. Oh, we did that one. Sorry. Uh, what is that? A Secret of the New Moon, some sort of anime movie. Get these out of the way. Um, John Wayne movies. There's some old oh, Transformers, The Beginning. Saturday Night Live is the first season. Dead on Arrival. Rundown. Man. Um, Death Sentence. Category 7. Earthquake. I need to do these straight up and down now. I'm seeing... Okay, and this is the last one, The Longest Yard. <clears throat> That's the movie lot. Six Blu-rays. And let me go ahead and two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 
Okay, let me put that there and count these other ones. And there is 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 37, 30, like 38 movies plus all those ones that are in the uh, the Saturday Night Live ones. So that is your lot there. About 38 movies, six Blu-rays, and then all those Saturday Night Live ones. And, the, it, well, one's a boyhood, it says. And it looks like the rest of them are Saturday Night Lives. Yep, all first season. All right. Anybody interested in those? We got 25 from Little Miss Q, 27 from Tracy Cakes. Little Miss Q right back at 29. That is a lot of movies. A lot of movies. A very lot of movies. What was the series I just made you watch? The, the Hunger Games. Oh, yeah. I just made him watch the Hunger Games movies. He had never seen them, guys. How could you never see the Hunger Games? I've seen the first one, I think. Not yeah. And then, guys, Tracy if you... Tracy takes it 31. Little Miss Q right back at 33. If you guys like, um, uh, like, series and you have Netflix, on Netflix, we just binge-watched all three seasons of The Zoo. And not The Zoo. It's called just Zoo. Tracy takes it 35. Zoo. And it's three seasons, and but the thing is, if you watch it, guys, you gotta watch it. We, how many times did we have to like go back and watch another season because we missed something? A little bit, yeah. or I mean, a uh, one show episode. Oh, barbecue guy said he never seen, haven't seen the Hunger Games either. Never seen the Hunger Games series. Oh, did you like it, Tim? Honestly, I did. I did. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, it is pretty good. It's pretty crazy. And you never know, 100 years from now, it could be like that, couldn't it? That's crazy. Isn't it? What are the you doing? Going. We have an auction going on, that's for sure. 100 days, perspective piece on the 21st century. Pixie said, yep. Yeah, that's less than a dollar each. Did you count how many? Yes, oh, okay. I gave the numbers. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> Little Miss Q's out. Six Blu-rays and first, yeah, thirty-eight movies. Tracy takes at thirty-five. All right, Rosie. Yeah, there's a there's a going once, going once. Any other interest? Thank you, Little Miss Q. All right, Rosie. Doesn't look like we see any other interest. Let's do a going twice. Oh, did she? Oh, the lag. Sorry. It can, I, it can be up to like 15, 20 seconds. The lag so can? Yeah, what Streamer actually said when I put oh, it up. Okay. Well. I think everybody's been lagging the last couple of weeks. All right. Going twice. Going twice. It's the road. Or, yeah. Going twice, Tracy Cakes at 35. <laughs> I think we have a sold, sold, sold. Do we have a sold, sold, sold? Miss Q said, figured I have a few more lots I might want. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we're going to be sending a lots out to Miss Q every week. <laughs> Could be. Could we need be. to just make a pile and have to meet up with her again. <laughs> Did we get a sold, sold, sold? Or before you send it out, she said. <laughs> What'd she say? She said, you guys should watch Secondhand Lion tonight or before you send it out. Sold to Tracy Cakes. Thank you, Tracy. Thank you. Secondhand Come Lion? I will look it up. I'm sure we can get it on our fire stick. It must be really good, huh? 
All right. Thank you very much, Tracy. All right. This is lot number two. Ladies, ladies, ladies. And gentlemen, for your ladies. <laughs> Unless you're into this kind of thing. All right. The very first thing I want to show is this piece. This is from Wendell August Forge. Now, let me look. If I turn this off, does it? Oh, there we go. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I guess I got to turn it the right way. Look at this. How beautiful. If you know anything about Wendell August Forge, it is stamped on the back there. Can be a pin or it is on a chain. This right is there. It just focused. okay. Sorry, but there's that. Okay, so that's one. Now we do have what I'm gonna do is just grab all the bracelets out of here. Um, these are mostly okay. So here is my first handful. What? of bangly bracelets there you go Focus. it is so hard for me to hold still guys you have no idea all right this is a real pretty one this kind of looks like a pandora yeah, i don't cool. i don't think that it is it is very hard for me to hold still <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're doing great. Uh, you know, I'd be all over the screen. Okay, these now the elastic in these is kind of rough on some of these um bracelets that have these, but I know there's people out there that will actually um redo these. And this actually the one side is broken, but some of these bracelets that we found they had tags on them. Not these don't, but there's some other ones that we might sell tonight. But they are they're special stones and stuff too. So those mostly feel plastic. We have this big, it's not big, but it's wide. Yeah, it's crazy. All right. Here are these are more bangle bracelets. Some look a little bit different, but There's those. I have, oh, this is pretty. Yeah, that's a pretty piece there. Yeah. Pretty cool. This is just um that. All right. That there's this is like a little kid's bracelet. The stones in it are pink, but look, it's it's looks like it might be for like a baby, the way that it hooks. Or somebody with a really small wrist. Yeah. <laughs> A baby or a little kid. There's um, there's another bangle bracelet. I'm just going to add it to those. But then these are the other two. Let me just make sure. Yeah. Okay. So there's just this chain one. And it has a heart on it. Is that better without the light, guys? Or is it better with the light? And then this pearl thing. So let me get. Uh, now I had most of these necklaces. Um, separated. There's that. Old cherry lot of jewelry. Starting big There's 25. this. That's really pretty. This has a long chain. Probably about an 18 to 20 inch chain on it. Whoops. Oh no. Don't get tangled. Please. I had these all untangled, guys. This has a set of little doves on it. There's that. And we have this. Oh, yeah. There's more, guys. There's a lot more. This is kind of like a, uh, looks kind of like shells. Here is another piece, wooden beads, and there's one stuck in it. Um, this is kind of like a, I call it like a bolo tie. This flower slide, it has these little ends, and this slides up and down. Um, I don't think it's 
it's not real gold, but it's very shiny. It looks, it's pretty. Yep, could be coral. You're right, barbecue. Okay, this has on it little elephants. I'm going to get this as close as I can. Oh. So that's the whole, oh, wait, there's big elephants. Let me do the big ones. Back away just right there. And then the whole way up along the side of them, it's these all are elephants. all little elephants. It's really cool. <laughs> this is just a silver chain. It's very short, um, can be extended though. We have this piece here, very shiny. Um, this is like a, is it a copper? Yeah, it's like copper, copper color. Um, we have this, two different colored beads, but those are together. That's one necklace. Okay. This is just a silver bead. I thought it was like one of those throwaway things, but it actually has a clasp on it. So I thought somebody might be interested in it. This is really pretty. We actually had, um, we had two of these and I kept one for myself. Um, because I just love this piece here. Just love it. All the different colors of metals. It's really, really cool. Silver, gold, copper. So it'll match like any of my rings that I wear. I have big rings and things that I wear sometimes when I get dressed up. But yeah, I really love that. I was like, this is kind of like a clear beaded necklace. Is it better with the light on or off? Has anybody said? Um, no. Nobody said anything. Okay, these the are now. pearls, but I am going to show you on the end that the clasps are broken. Because I'm going to tell you what. I bought a necklace one time. Well, Tim bought me two necklaces at an auction. It, it was an online auction. And you bid, and then you, you pick it up in a couple of days well he got the necklaces and here they didn't bother showing that the clasps were broken we will do that douglas they weren't even there i mean it was we were very upset this is really pretty this is like a light purple pearl looking marble or stone and then it has the gold around them beautiful i actually should have kept that piece too oh wow well. i can't keep them all like candy <laughs> they do look like candy this is a another necklace here has the pearls these are like a peach pearl and then it has that flat piece there my back's starting to hurt give me, your wig. Give me one second guys the way i'm leaning into the camp we got to figure something else out this setup is just <laughs> The way I got to lean. <laughs> oh, here we go. This makes me think of my grandma. My grandma loved owls. I have certain owl necklaces and pins that she wore all the time. It just was recently her birthday, too. Here's another piece. The chain on this is like a gold chain. Um, this looks like um, a cameo type thing. It is on a necklace. Is that Whew. here is another one has all those bangly things all right this is really pretty i actually thought i should keep this maybe to wear to my son's wedding but i'm not sure where what i'm wearing yet so i don't know if it would go was what I'm wearing. Okay. We just have a couple more. So if you are interested, this does start out at um, 25. 25 for this lot here. We have a few more. I have to tell you a story about this stuff. Um, Tim went to an auction 
to uh, see what they had and see if there was anything that we wanted or needed or whatever. And he saw all this jewelry. And of course, he thought of the auction because he knows a lot of people like to buy jewelry. This is really pretty. That stone is like a purple. Really, really pretty. But one of these boxes actually had a 14 karat gold necklace in it. And he saw it. This is a, uh, I think it's a kitty cat. I'm not sure. So anyhow, he saw the gold in there. So of course he was like, I'm going to make sure that I buy that. Um, here's another chain. This one, it has a lot of discoloration up here on the end. Um, and just one more piece here. Ah. Oh, there was one of these in there already. So this is the second one of this. Has like these hangy, the hangy down thing. Put my hand behind it. So anyhow, this other guy, it was buried and this other guy came along and he was friends with the person that was having the auction and Tim was really mad because he pointed it out to the guy <laughs> and he didn't get it. It got sold separately. The guy pulled it and sold it separately. And the answers it all in the jewelry. Ooh. I understand Miss Q. What's that? Ah. <laughs> All right. No interest. Maybe I'll give that to Layla. She'd like that. She'd be thrilled. Okay, Tracy Cakes. Understand what? Never mind. <laughs> See, this is what I don't like. He talks to you people, and I have no yeah. idea what he's saying. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm just like, I feel like left out of the loop. I don't like being on this end. I need to make Why him do it. Ivy Lane battling a kidney stone. That's horrible. Who's down with a kidney stone? Ivy Lane was battling a kidney stone. So oh bad. no. Huh. All right. Are we passing on that? Uh, seeing no no interest, we'll pass on the jewelry. All right. All right. Should I do these? You can try them. I okay. We're just going to show the... I'm not going to take a real long time showing these because we did show them last week. We had two different lots of coins. So what we decided, we talked to Mikey and he told us to make the decision that we wanted to make and we're combining those two lots that we had last week into one lot. And um, so this is the Westward Journey Ocean and View 2005. These are um, nickels. All right, so there's that. It is $25 for the set. Westward Journey. These are the uh, Westward Journey 2004 Sacagawea dollar. So that's that. And like I said, I'm not going to show it real long. $25 is the starting bid. These were two separate. We don't know what happened to this. This got broken. So these are also Nichols uh, 2004. We did show those last week. All of these were shown last week. So Mikey said just combine them or make a decision. These are, oh, these are the gold edition of the Westward Journey, the, the Nichols. The gold edition, 2006 here. And there is ah, American Frontier Nickel Set. Show the back of that. Any interest in this? And in here was the 
1979 Liberty Susan B. Anthony Dollars. Um, Michael Sam is at 25. And then here is another one, the 2000 gold set um, of quarters, gold quarters. So there's that. And then there's one more set. There we go. This is also gold quarters. Ah, that's stuck. Awesome. Little mystery ah. eBay sales for you. $19.99. What? What did she say? She had three eBay sales coming back to back to back. Nice. Different buyers. Oh, there we go. All right. So that's what's with it. You have the two um, gold quarters. You have, oh, let me make sure these are together, guys. The um, nickel set, another nickel set, the gold um, dollars, and then, of course, another nickel set, and here is a gold nickel set. And then the Susan B. Anthony dollar coins. It might make it better so I could see. Yeah, because I'm leaning like this and it like strains my back. And oh, sorry. He's trying to fix me so I can see the camera and like know that I'm showing it right. Now that makes way more sense. Look at that. Spiffy, spiffy, spiffy. We're going to learn eventually, guys. <laughs> little Miss Q said that. Thank oh, you, Little Miss Q. Did she? Okay. Little oh, girl. that's amazing. I can look right at my, in front of me. All right. Going so, once to Michael Sam's in 25. Yes, definitely. Let's do a going once. I'm getting these all put back in. Oh, see, I went to look at the thing over there and it's not over there <laughs> i don't believe so huntsman pixie they're still silver colored but they're not silver coins as in you know real silver no miss q at 27 snipe <laughs> all right so there is all of those i am putting them back in the things here. Michael Sam's at 30. Eric Armstrong at 30. All right. So there is all of those. Michael Sam's at 30. Oh, wow. That is so much Eric, nicer. Eric, he got you by a smidgen. <laughs> <laughs> there they all are laid out. There's a couple over here. Oh, you can see them. There we Ms. go. Miss Q said you're welcome, Christy. Thank you, Miss Q. Yeah, I can look straight in front of me now. I might even be able to see everybody, what everybody's talking about. Tracy Cake, that's a great idea to play poker with Eric, and he announces his bluff. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Michael Sam's at 30. Do we hear 32? <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> what? Just laughing about Eric. Oh. <laughs> I just want to say thank you to everybody that is here. Um, guys, I'm going to put a little push out and say make sure that you hit the thumbs up. We are trying so, so hard to grow. Um, we are at 247, and I would love to wake up tomorrow morning and have 250. Uh there's a lot of hours put in. You guys all know that do YouTube channels, just recording and then, you know, making the videos, making the thumbnails and um, it, it's, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of time. So guys, please, every time that you watch anyone, make sure you hit the thumbs up. Make sure even if you're not going to watch the whole video, Try to scroll through to the end. I heard from another YouTuber that when you do that, it actually helps in some way. I don't know how, but... Thank you, Mods. Um, 
Are we yeah. calling this? I'm talking I'm a not, lot. I'm not, sorry. Yeah, <laughs> Eric thought he got in before Michael Sands and the moderator checked and he did. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> anyhow, funny. yeah, please make sure. Got to go in once to Michael Sands at 30. It only takes a second every time that you watch a YouTube video. Hit the thumbs up. It helps every single YouTuber. They put in a lot of hours, a lot of time to do what they do, you know. Some people need to support their family and go full time on YouTube. So that's the way that they pay their bills. Um, and remember, if they're a YouTuber, more than likely, more than likely, Michael Sam's at 30. Like we have a Facebook, an Instagram, and a TikTok. Do we list on or do we do something on it every day? No, but I. When the house is done, I do plan on every single day posting something on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. If you go to TikTok, look up my daughter, Erica Weimer. She's in the chat, I believe. But look her up on TikTok, too, because her and I have actually done some TikToks at the Flip House. Like, oh, my goodness. Like dancing and stuff. We've had a lot of fun with it. There's only a few, but... We were doing really good for a while, and then the, we quit. The first time they did it, they were up on the second floor right above where I was working. I'm up on the ladder, and all of a sudden, all this dust starts coming through the floor because they're up there jumping around dancing. <laughs> I'm being, like, covered in dust and stuff. It's <laughs> and it's so funny. My daughter. Here we have a sold, sold, sold. Michael Sams. My daughter was a dancer. Yes, so here's my 23-year-old daughter busting a move. Of course, she can dance. We tried to, Huntsman Pixie. And then the here's, the, here's the 50-year-old. I try to dance with her, but, man, it is hard sometimes. She's like, Mom, you should be able to get this. I'm like, oh, my gosh. All right. Are we ready for another one? Now, this is a really, really cool lot. I'll do this. You go rest. Oh, I get to rest and watch the chat. I'm so excited. Write that in the book there so we have it. Which one? All right. So we did a unit, and I don't think the video's out yet. No. But we're going to share with you something that we found in there, and we decided that we're just going to go ahead and let somebody have the opportunity to pick them up here at our auction. Starting bid on these is going to be $30. The only reason it's going to start $30 is because it's heavy. Okay. But there's money to be but made. But there's a lot of money to be made here. These are really cool. They're banks. They're coin banks. All right. There are several. Several. When I say several, these are all the same here. Nice little lot of coin banks. These are all the same ones. There's one or two that have the bottom missing, but as you can see, not very many. These look like they're really, really good condition. A couple of them got a little rust on the bottoms. I mean, you can see them. And there's that one there. Tracy Fakes asked, are they cast iron? Uh, they're, they're made in 1974. Um, hold on a second. I'll tell you who they're, made them. They're a heavy metal. Like we it, wondered if the, they were. The, go ahead. Brass or cast iron. The company that made these is called Banthrico. B a n t h r i c o Incorporated. I don't know if you can see that on there. Chicago. I want to go to Chicago. In Chicago. They say Morris Plan of California Thrifty Loans. These are all con of wagons or wagon trains or trains, wagons or something. So there are nine of those. Okay. Like I said, they're heavy. So there's nine of them. That one might have a coin in it. It's got something in that one. <laughs> We All didn't right. clean them up or anything. This is how we found them. As, in as found condition, 
and yeah, we had we didn't even take the dust off them or anything. So this one says Richmond Savings um, and Loan Association. I think Richmond, California. It's a different size, as you can see. It's a different wagon. And there's another one that's just like that wagon. The plate on this one says Hutchison National Bank and Trust Company. Rosie, I think you have that wrong. Erica was 52, and then Michael came in at 60. Um, Here's so a car. It's Mike Sam's at 60, Rosie. This is a... Uh, I don't know what year. 1927, some kind of car. Tim H. said, that's a pretty butterfly law. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't understand what that means. So, Michael Sam's is at 60, Rosie. And here's one more car. As you can see, it's different from this other one. This one on the top says Bank of the Sierra Porterville. It's like, I want to say it's like etched into it. But they all say Banthrico, Inc., Chicago, Illinois, or Chicago, USA, which we all know is in Illinois, of course. Chicago. They're like, they look like they're, they look like they're brass or copper, but they're not. It's like a die cast type metal. Pretty cool. The wheels on this one turn. Wheels on this. Here's their stationary. <laughs> Mom, should I keep bidding? <laughs> That's not up to us. It's Erica, to her what she that bought. is not up to me. You have to make that decision, sweetheart. So as you can see, <laughs> like I said, there's nine of these wagons here. They're all the same place. Morse plans of California. Pioneers of Consumer Credit. Nine of those. And then you got these other ones here. Anybody need to see any of them again? There's a total of 13. Total of 13, Tracy. <laughs> Tracy said, no, Erica, you should not. Michael said, nope. That sounded really bad. What sounded really bad? Right, barbecue guy. It's, it's not. It's cast, but not iron. I, I think metal. it's a dime metal. A die cast. Last chance dance, baby. What sounded really bad? Miss Q. Oh, Erica said she's out. Michael Sam said bid, Erica. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, my. Michael Sam's is doing, oh, chicken. He's saying chicken to Erica. That's funny. All right. So, right now we have. Oh, Tracy Cakes is at 65. <laughs> Tracy just came in at 65. Michael Sam's just came back with 75. Some of the detail on these is pretty cool. <laughs> oh, my. It's an auction. I agree, Huntsman. I agree. Michael Sam's is at 70. Oh, looky there. Tracy Cakes came back at 80. <laughs> uh, I love you guys Thank you Thank you for being here tonight Thank you, thank you Oh, Michael Sams came back at 90 Hey, if you find the gold coin in that one Just let me know, okay Or if you find the 1943 penny <laughs> Yeah, or if it's I don't even know which one it is now <laughs> We're leaving it in there. We're yep, it's staying in there, in there whatever it is. 
or Tracy, oh. whoever ends up with it, or Erica, if Erica decides to come in and... I don't know. Like, I don't know. Something in there. Guys, we actually have a 1943 penny that we're sending in to just see, to get it checked. We think it might be something. Tracy Capes came in at 95, and Michael Sams came back, back at 100. Huh? Wow. I would not miss the fun. I hope we are fun. I... <laughs> <laughs> I'll call you from Vegas. <laughs> hey, that's right, Tracy. Or, oh, you're in. Are you in Vegas? No, she's just up by barbecue. Yeah, guy. she's up by barbecue guy. But didn't um Midwest Midwest Capades go to Vegas? They're in Vegas, right? Yeah. Guys, make sure you go check them out. They had a live the other night. Um, so go catch up on their live and um. There's so many people here tonight that have, um, that have, uh, oh my gosh, YouTube videos. Um, Storage Brats just came out with a TikTok. Storage Brats have a TikTok now. Now I'm going to have to start getting on my TikTok and be, be like, I'm going to do what you guys did. I loved your TikToks. As soon as I saw it on Facebook, I went and, um, Checked it out. Midwest Capades are in Vegas. Yes, I hope they're having fun too. All right. Michael Sams. Uh, I hope Bobby and Chris are. Congrats, Michael. All right. Apparently, Tracy is out. Is that what you're saying, Tracy? Do it going once. All right. Let's do it going once, guys. Let's do it going once, Rosie. Let's do it going once. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Because there's a delay. Okay. I guess that's why you um always tell me to slow down and stuff, huh? Yeah. And, and I know it's hard to it's hard to do that. I was trying to hold these steady so they could read them. Oh, I get to meet Mrs. Barbecue in Midwest this week. Oh, that's awesome. Awesome, awesome. Thank you, Tracy. She said, yes, she Going is. Twice. She is out. All right. Yes, Rosie just did a going twice. Very good. Yes. Our ceiling up here is low, and the ceiling fan, I have to remember to duck so I don't like to take the top of my head off with it. You all don't want me to drink with all. <laughs> I can't wait to meet everybody that I've met on here. It's so awesome. Sold, 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 Rosie. All right, Rosie, let's do it so we can do another lot. Sold, 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 sold. Do it, Rosie. Do it. Very good. Oh, write it down. I'm sorry. Oh, the pen quit working. Thank you, Michael Sams. Thank you, everyone who's bidding. These will be wrapped up good for you. I can just write storage brats. Yep. <laughs> Because he is the storage brats. All right. What are we doing next, Tim? What should we do next? Another movie ladder. Do those. Yeah. Yeah, you can do those. Cool. Awesome. All right. We have a lot here. <laughs> uh, a very large lot. Okay, wait. I have to say something about this. No. I want to say something. I'm not going to say what okay. it is. But this stuff has been sitting for years and i'm always telling him he needs to get rid of it or list it or something so i am this is like a big moment for me that he is showing you this lot and selling this stuff okay go ahead Tim. okay i'm so excited this is a good good collector's lot reseller's lot Without there's a, a lot here that's a lot of lot lots huh <laughs> this is a boy scout lot Lone Scout of the Sky. It's a, uh, what is that called? A fiction book or something like that? A reading book. Explore Program Proof Edition. Explore <laughs> Fundamentals. 
<clears throat> I agree, Huntsman. There's a lot of books here. Basic Training, Explore. Some more Explore Basic Training books. Now, these here are from back, uh, I'd say probably in the 60s. Oh, even older than that, the 50s. Some of these here. This here is a Scout How book. This has stuff that varies from back in, I'd say, the 1920s or 30s all the way up through the 80s. There's a 64 requirement book. That's a newer troop committee guidebook. Old official uniform equipment book. I don't know. Mark Trail, that's in there. I don't know. This here's a world book. It's about Boy Scouts, Girl Scout, Campfire Girls, the whole nine yards. A badge and honor guide. Project for Scouts. Backyard USA Cub Scout activities. The pack, the first two months. These are older. These are like probably from the 57. So they're from the 50s. Introduction to family camping. That's probably from the 80s, 90s. Well, he brings more out, guys. I will tell you, like. Boy Scouts of Canada, 1977 calendar. Boy Scout stuff. He has so much. He loves. He loves Boy Scout stuff. The packs for the first two it. months. I just got too much of it. Here's another one of those introductions to family camp. So I decided to part with some of it. And I get my 31 container back to put something else in. Pack record book. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of... Uh, this is from 1943, I believe. It's from 1943, an article. Um, commissioner helps. All kinds of these different commissioner help books. These are from the 90s, I believe. Advancement book from the 2000s. Prior to that, a wood badge book. Just oh, a little wow. notebook. Starting bid is $25. Will be nice. This stuff is highly collectible. Yeah, don't I sleep just don't on have time to list it. It's a hot it. lot and a steal. I know what kind of money he brings in with Boy Scouts. These are 1960s, 69, 70, somewhere in that period of time. Merit badge books, chemistry, railroading, rowing, and swimming. These are the full picture on the cover. Um, here's an official Scout Collectibles price guide, fourth edition. Strength for service to God and country. It's like a little Boy Scout Bible or, or um, it's um, the daily devotions. Yeah, there are services you can actually give, like, so you can do services. Guys, everybody look there. Michael Sam said, if anybody's interested in any of those banks he just got, his email is right there. Michael Sam's 47 at Gmail. This is a 1952 uh, scouting big show at the Cincinnati Gardens. Uh, I don't know. That's some golf thing. Right now we have Miss Q at 25. Miss Q, get this stuff listed. Like, this is actually please. a proof edition of the Explorer Leader Basic Training Notebook. So this is like something they put out people to look at before they actually had to printed the real books. There's a <laughs> Boy Scout Automobilist. This is a... Unfortunately, I didn't know this was in there, but that's okay. This is missing the cover, but this is their book here from the 1920s. Wish it had the cover to it. It'd been a lot nicer. Here's some uh, little supplements, outdoors thing. Uh, 70s, 80s Scoutmaster Handbook. 80s, 90s time frame or so Junior Leader Handbook. I don't know, some scouting card for Order of the Arrow. It says 1926. Well, that's older than me. I was born 1946. The, board, the books are great. This is actually from the Keystone Area Council, Boy Scouts of America, 1967 Philmont roster. Everyone who went to Philmont from that council that year is on here. And even those piece of papers, I've seen Tim sell Weeble's that Dan stuff. book. 
it's basic PC. training, troop committee, junior leaders training, more explorer stuff. I mean, there's just here's some more proof editions. Um, here's a 2016 Boy Scout requirement book. Still got more. Oh, there's more. That's a supplement went in the Boy Scout handbooks. This is from the 70s, 80s. This here's uh, just the uh, leather craft projects. Boy Scout merit badge requirements. This is probably from the 80s, 79 printing. So that was close. Now, we'll send it to you, Miss Q. Miss Q. Troop That's Committee fine. Guidebook, a scouting guide to the Florida Keys. That's a little bit newer since they got the, the Florida sea base. base down there. Commissioner Service Manual, Active Troop Committee, District Operations, Facts on World Scouting. This here is actually pretty cool. I actually read through that. Ace of Scout Mastermanship. If this was the original, if this was the original, and this isn't original, this is a reproduction, okay? And what I mean by it's a reproduction, this one here was printed in, in uh, where's it at? 1944. But if this was the original from back in the 20s, this book here by itself is worth $15,000 from the 20s. This one's not. It's from 44. Wow. There's a Boy Scout Games. A newer Boy Scout handbook. When I say newer, I'm talking in the 2000s, 2000, maybe 5, 10. I don't know. I can look and know. But. Uh, forestry activities, Boy Scout, Cub Scouts, Explorers, Songs, Scout Songs. Piles getting bigger, I know. Some more Explorer stuff. Patrol Leaders ham Program Notebook. That's an older one. Notebook for scout Scouters. There's just different things in there. Troop, troop ceremonies. Troop activities book. And a Boy Scout requirement book. And that is an empty bag. Holy moly. Well, guys, right now we have Miss Q at 25. Anybody else? Anything anybody wants to see again. I mean, there's a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff here. A lot of stuff here. Like I said, if you're a collector, there's a lot of stuff to add to the collection. If you're a reseller, there's a ton of stuff you can resell. Yep. There is. <laughs> you're right, Rosie. It is a reseller's dream. I mean, even if you put every book on for five bucks, ten bucks, whatever, look how many books are there. Yep. It's a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> All right. <laughs> let's do a going once. I don't see any other interest. So, Rosie, let's go ahead and do a going once. Mm. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, why don't you do this and I'll go grab those. But um, okay. at least one. Yep. Oh, work in here. Oh, yeah. Go in twice. funny aj was in the extra room laying down <laughs> are we done with this one sold 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 to miss q for 25 you got a great deal miss q oh yeah yep. that's this that's probably the the deal the deal of a century <laughs> He probably feels about that the way I feel about the crafting stuff. That was that hurt, didn't it? <laughs> Getting rid of that. <laughs> All right, guys. Woo. This is, I'm just going to pick this up. This is an 18 gallon tote. I think it's an 18 gallon. Let me look. Is that what it says? 
Oh, I don't know. 23. Anyhow, it's pretty much full of ribbon. Blue, green, pink. There's like a, let me turn this light off. I think it would be better without that. There we go. There's a, a rose, like a rose pink. There's a blue. That looks gray, but it is blue. Um, there's green. There's a light pink here. Um, there is this glittery ribbon right here. It's wider. There's only one of that. Let's see if there's any other colors. So, oh, here we go. There's a, a maroon color. So there's this whole tote. Let me do this to show you the sides. <laughs> Full of ribbon. In whatever box we end up putting it in, if there's any room, I will be adding more to it. So, 25 bucks. I'll have a box about this big and I will add more to it. 25 bucks. I mean, there's got to be. Oh, wait, there's different colors down here, too. Wait a minute. Oh, there's some white. So there's white in there also. This is, uh, each of these are 10 yards. It's a quarter inch. Um, those ones are a quarter inch. Let me see. This is also a quarter inch. So they're all a quarter inch. Um, but there is a dark green, a different color green, white, blue, pink and maroon any interest anyone interested in some ribbon anybody interested there's that anybody interested if not we are going to move on if somebody says they're interested, we can bring it back, okay? But normally, if some, you know, somebody wanted it, then. All right, guys. If you decide you want the ribbon, don't be afraid to send us an email. We have totes and totes and totes of it. Yeah, we have we have totes that are like twice the size of that. That are full. That are full of ribbon, like three of them. So. So, wants a ribbon. Anybody wants ribbon? We got ribbon. <laughs> like we have toilet paper. We got if, ribbon. If you don't need that much ribbon, we'd make a deal for 25 rolls, yeah, you know? I, uh, you know, at this point, because it's not selling, give me a couple of bucks and then just pay the shipping. I wouldn't even care. I don't want to throw it away. All right. You can see here, this is our next lot. Next watch movies. So movies, let me movies, just. This is the last of our movies for now. This is it, unless we find more, which, which we movies. are going to a sale. Which Erica, that's right. If you're on here, the 27th and 28th, there are sales. Okay, Rosie. So maybe we'll work the weekend or something. I don't know. Depends on what Zach's working and what you have to going on. But we'll work the weekend and then take those two days off. All right. These are all the movies. Let me do this. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight, thirty, thirty-two, thirty-four, thirty-six, thirty-eight, forty, forty-one, and then there's a bunch of these too. Um, 44, 46, 48. So there's about 51 movies here. And I will now show you what the movies are. Oh, wow. This is so nice. I'm so <laughs> glad that Miss Q said move She will go slower because she could see the screen better, Tracy. <laughs> Miss Q had a good idea. So I Lord agree. of the Rings. That's a that's a she could never understand why I said slow down a little bit. <laughs> Kingdom, what did you say? About not being able, about. Oh, she said I'd probably slow down a little bit now. Well, she said go a bit slower than last time. Oh, okay. 
All right. Let me move these well, up. yeah, you can see them now, you know. Yeah. The Hangover. The Scorpion King. Hoodwinked. <laughs> Uh, Let's do it 25. Touching the void. Um, oh, there is a movie in there. King Tut, Secrets Revealed. Um, clear and Present Danger. That's one of my mom's favorite guys. Uh, State of the Union. Righteous Kill. Yeah. Yep. Blow. Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> Is that a bad movie? Both on a true story. Smart, sexy, and dangerous. I don't know. If that's a bad movie, I'm sorry because I wouldn't spell a bad movie. The X Files. <laughs> All right. What is this? Oh, it is a movie. Beach the movie. I don't know. Somebody just put a paper in there and wrote on it, but the movie is in there. Um, I think this says Flight of the Phoenix. Yep. Get Smart. Um, the Box. Halo Legends. Um, Transformers. Uh, Men, uh, Men in Black 2. Yep, Men in Black 2. <laughs> I just realized yep, it was still at 25. Matrix Reloaded. Tracy Kicks coming at 27. Let's um, back at 29. I think this movie is Triple X. Vin Diesel. Yep. Anything with Vin Diesel in it, it would be good too. Oh my. Uh, we are Marshall. What a good movie. What a good movie. Yep. Um, more classics. Tracy Kicks at 30. We have the 41 year old virgin. Uh, Owl City. Oh, Tracy Cakes. At Live from Los Angeles, it says. Fine, Tracy Cakes. Um, understand. Oh, Cartoon Craze. Huh. Another Cartoon Craze. Little Lulu. Miami Vice. Who remembers that show? We have Enemy at the Gates. Um, the Little Unicorn. A uh, Holiday 4 Film Collector Set. Anything Christmas is amazing. Flash of Genius. Little Miss Cute, 33. We have the movie. Oh, Precious. This is a good movie. Uh, the Dukes of Hazard. All right. There is one Blu-ray in here. I don't know how that snuck in there, but the Identity Thief. Um, Star Trek. War of the Worlds. Oh, if you guys haven't seen the movie The Tomorrow War, The Tomorrow War, that just came out on Prime. Dude, where's my car? But um, the Tomorrow, The Tomorrow War, really good movie, really good movie, just came out on Prime. All right, so that's all those movies. Now, these 
Um, oh boy, it's gonna make me read this little stuff. Okay, I can't read that, it's too small. The Pursuit of Happiness. I'm sorry. These are once again in those like cardboard things. Um, Huckleberry Finn is in this one. <laughs> Brokeback Mountain in it, bleh, is in that one. Four Christmases. Shark Week 25th Anniversary from the Discovery Channel. Um, the, the piano lesson, spirit of the eagle, uh, the central park five and parkland. So I counted them. What was it? It was like 51, 51 movies total. 51 movies total in this lot. 51 movies. Tracy Cakes at 35. Any more interest? Any more interest? Wow. 51 movies. That's all. Our, guys, we cleaned out all our movies for you. All of them. Hmm. Got to go on once. Tracy Cakes at 35. Did I write down the last lot? Then? Or did you? I did. You wrote it down? Okay. Hmm. Should we do another jewelry lot or not? No, we can ask them to see what we do. Do I try another craft lot or not? All right, I'll go grab one. Finish this one up. What, did we do yep. one once already? Yep, one more once. Okay. Going twice to Tracy Kicks at 35. I'll do another jewelry one and then this one. All right. Sold to Tracy Cakes at 35. Woohoo! Thank you, Gladys. Hello, how are you? I could understand that would be driving you crazy. You'd be bedridden for a year. Oh my gosh. We have our prayers. Congrats, Tracy. Thank you. Uh, little Miss Ju, too. All right. I don't know what, what she has up her sleeve. She's got something there. Um, can I have a, I want to mark on here to make sure we get the yep. right one. Number this is two. Tracy. Yeah. Well, she got both DVDs. Oh, she did get both? Yeah. I'm sorry. I thought somebody got the other one nope, and I just nope. wanted to make sure. You're fine. I just looked. All right. right. Okay. The next lot. We're going to try another jewelry lot here. Is there any interest at all in jewelry? Yeah, because. If there's not, then we won't do it. Interest in jewelry or past? That we feel like that's what we need. This lot here, we have, um, it's going to be, excuse me, it's going to be pins and things. And this is just from a bracelet or a necklace. But there's a bunch of little pins and then I also have necklaces to go with it. 
check this thing out. <laughs> this is a pin. Wait, where's the head? It's a really cool pin. This is cool. Any know, interest? This is a tiger, but it's a pin. Look at how movie this is. Can you see that? But there's like a pin here and a pin there. So like when you pin it on your shirt, you could probably like bend it or whatever. And then the tail would just hang down. But it's like a tiger or something. Pretty crazy. Any interest in the, in the, yeah, a jewelry lot? Nobody's saying they're interested in jewelry, so. Okay, we're going to we pass, pass on, on it then. tonight. Yep, we'll do it again next week. All right, we're going to try something else here. Um, now, I will say some of this is kind of Christmassy on the top here. There is a lot of poinsettias, but then once I get all these poinsettias off the top, I can show you what else is. We can do that in a minute or nightmares if you want to see it. That's fine. What's that? Okay. We'll finish this one then and we'll, we'll definitely do it. We'll we might as well do it. it. Okay. So this is kind of Christmassy. I will say that I'm going to grab the camera actually. So there's all these silk flowers large, large craft lot. that were in here, but there is a ton of, these are cinnamon sticks. There's two bags of those. Of course, I cleaned out my glue gun, so I'm, I'm throwing in some glue guns. There's packages of ornaments for like decorating wreaths snowflakes um snowmen or trees you could even do trees snowflakes snowflakes doves another snowflake another snowflake all right and then let me get these out put them over here like she said, she cleaned it. She cleaned out all kinds of crap. In here, there are a bunch of wooden letters. There is a golf thing. It's a it's wood. It says golf. It's all connected. And then there's a bunch of wooden letters. But then underneath, and there's there's some wooden um, like there's a bear. There's moose. There's a stocking. There's some Santas. Uh, more of these. Underneath all of this is... There's a bunch of... These are all holiday signs. I was taking these apart. Like this says Joy. And I was making wreaths with them. Rosie said... Anyone want to donate to Rosie's random bows? <laughs> <laughs> but there's all kinds of things. The whole bottom of this. Actually, it looks like there might be some Valentine's Day things in there. Oh, yep. Yeah. There's some Valentine's Day stuff. So, here's this lot. It's a lot of stuff. There is some Valentine's Day stuff in here, too, then. Anybody interested in this? If you see something in one of these lots that you only want, what's in it, don't be afraid to ask. Send us an email. Okay. So there we go. There we go. No interest in the crappy lot except for Rosie. Ah, well, that's fine. Sorry. You know, we just want to get it out there. <laughs> you know? Give us some ideas on what you're looking for and we'll find it. We probably have it. We got <laughs> so much. I will tell you, I've got a really good lot for next week. But I'm not going to tell you what it is. You have to wait and see. You do? It'll be like the banks, except good. <laughs> uh, all right. We're going to go ahead and do this craft lot then, or not craft lot.
Oh my gosh, brain fart. This um, jewelry lot. So these are the pins I did show you. This will be 25. That's the tiger that is in there. Really pretty. I showed you the elephant. This actually has a little thing like it was on a necklace. Here's a pin here. Look at that. Wow. All right, this just was broken off of something, but I threw it in there. Some people like to do things with um, pieces and parts, so I'm not sure what everybody does. This is a cross just off of a necklace. I do have more pins. This is a, whoop, didn't realize I'm a horse, a knight on a horse. Another pin here. This looks like some sort of stone or something. I don't know. We have one that says um, joy. Oh, joy. <laughs> uh, here's a pin also. This has a, uh, I don't even know. That's very interesting, though. Very ornate looking pin. Yeah. I burned myself right there. Bacon chocolate chip cookies. Uh-oh. Here's another, whoop, here's another pin. Oh, the heart. Brooches, pins, I don't know, whatever you call it. Yeah, let me, I need to move this. I'm kind of sitting. Now I did it. Oh, I think I have it hooked wrong. Sorry, guys, I'm really, what am I doing? All right, we'll just do that. I'll move over closer like this. This is like a straight pin. It has that little thing on the bottom. We have a butterfly pin. Oh, these three flowers. Um, a sword. And this is um, like a thing of oh, a thing of grapes. This we threw in, it did come off of something, but like I said, some people like to make things with pieces of jewelry, so I knew of someone that was looking at jewelry for that. There's a pin there. A couple of, oh, these are really small. Let me see if I can hold these right. Uh, there is, where's the camera? Okay. Here's another one. There it goes. And a little, oh, it's a little kitty cat. Let me see if I can get that. And the, the body is like a blue stone and then the head is a some sort of clear stone. And then there's just this little cat thing. That goes to a necklace. All right. So that's that. And then included with those will be all of these. A whole ton of necklaces. <laughs> so there's one. Oh, no, I feel like there's a better way to show these. Why is this not hooking on there for me today? There we go. That's it. So... There's the necklace. Uh, no, um, the light. There we go. I think it's better without a light. All right. There's one. This is actually doubled up. It is one long one, but I have it doubled up. So there's two. This is a real pretty green. And it actually has that. Um, we have this. It's the pearls with the heart on there. This lot does start at 25 also. Uh, there's that. <clears throat> I 
here. Oh, wait a second. This one I think is broken or something. Um, because these two things here, I don't, I don't know. It looks broken to me, but there it is. Quit moving. Whew. All right. A couple more pearl ones. They have those, these kind of clasps on them that like slide inside of each other. I always have issues with those. <laughs> Here is another one. Um, just looking. I know I thought it was broke, but it's not. All right. Definitely a lot here, a lot. And here is, let me hook it. So this is like three strands here. These are nicer pearls. Like they're not real, but a lot of these are nicer. And I know I've been hearing a lot from people that people are really looking for the costume jewelry, that it's really coming back and I guess um, we've been talking to some people that um, have like um, stands at different places. And some of this um, costume jewelry is really coming back in. That's a real long one. Like almost, the, it's the length of my arm, guys. So I'm doubling it up. This is like a peach color. It's really pretty. black and white set here oh. I'm gonna try and get through all these pearl things before I send show all the chain stuff that's interesting yeah it is very cool very cool <laughs> My arms get tired holding them up. Black, long, probably about 18 inches. Oh, this is pretty. It has the dangly thing. A long chain on it. All right. Another double. This one actually... This one actually is broke, but it should be three strands. But it is broke on the one, but I'm sure it could be easily fixed. Um, this is actually like for eyeglasses. <laughs> Let me set that aside. Oh, here we go. This is pretty different kind of chain. I don't know, even know how many pieces are here. This definitely has some sort of issue here, but it, it's got, you know, personally, I would just take this piece off here and it could be sold like that without this hanging on there. All right, we got some more long, long beads, but it is, it is broken. So it would need fixed. All right. We got another. This has these stones on here are like a real pretty green. Oh, there goes my finger in there. Sorry, guys. Sam said Michael's in the shower and Rosie goes eyes. And Michael Sam said Rosie's peeping in the shower. <laughs> we got pink pearls. Wake up, Tim. Who's sleeping? Tim Hagenbaum. Oh, another set of pearls. Oh, this is pretty. This is different too. This is real long. Five dollars starting bid. Yeah, we're getting towards the end. So if you are interested, it is twenty-five dollars. This is um, this is cool. It has the dangly thing. And then it is a necklace. Let me see if I can get the 
I think it like hooks in the front, actually. The hook is right here. So it hooks in the front and then that hangs down. That's cool. And this says star. I want to be a star. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Just a couple of very thin, they're not real, but very thin gold chains. If you had something that you needed to put something on, you would have that then. This is a dragonfly. It's not on a chain. This is like that, um, I don't want to say twine, but string. And then here's this elephant necklace. I'm actually surprised that the elephant stuff. Usually there's people that love elephants. Two more chains. So just, a, you know, gold chains, not the real deal. <clears throat> we tried to get the real deal, but somebody. <laughs> Nightmare treasures at 25. All right. So there is that set. Tracy Cake offered a cupcake. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we have Nightmares at 25. That is the lot. That is the entire lot, folks. Showed you everything. And you know what we need, honey? We need like um, tissue, yeah. like a tissue paper dispenser that I could wrap, you know, like oh, pull yeah. a piece of tissue out. And wrap each necklace. That'd be nice, yeah. That'd be really nice to have. Anybody know of anything like that? Like, what what could I use? Like, well, I could use tissues, but... Good. The tissues, I don't know that they would be big enough for these. Right, right. I don't know what you're saying. I don't know. How would you guys send all this jewelry? Do you wrap each thing individually? Or how do you do it? Or have you gotten jewelry from someone and you didn't like the way it was wrapped or you really liked the way it was wrapped? I mean, this is a lot of necklaces. So, of course, I'm going to want them to be separated because you know what could happen in the mail. They'll just end up a bump, jumbled, bumbled, jumbled mess. Going once, do my first try. Yes, let's do a going once. What's your paper roll for paper, but maybe... Too stiff for jewelry. Yeah, but probably barbecue guy. I do have the brown paper, but that would be, That'd too, be too stiff. stiff. That's what you just said. Yeah. I don't know. I have to find a lighter paper. Yeah, like tissue paper. Like tissue, yeah. But you know how your tissue paper comes in sheets, guys. It's kind of a pain, and it's so big. What could you use that's small? I mean, I guess tissues aren't that expensive. Uh, what, about, what about that paper you pull out of the bottom of a dispenser? Those paper towels that way. Right? I think I might do tissues. Next size works awesome, Miss Barbecue says. Oh, we have a Ms. crap Barbecue's ton of... Barbecue's alive. Holy smokes, Tim said. We, um, yeah. That would be... You know what? I Maybe I'll do that. We have a crap ton of snack size bags. Miss Q said the thicker be a necklace, this shall melt fine. I'd wrap the regular thin ones. Okay. Ziploc bags. That's actually... Could I even do like sandwich... You know those fold-over sandwich bags? Like even if I just put a piece of tape on those, do because that. I don't like using those at home for things because they're just fold over. Right. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to find all those that we sold, have. Sold, sold, sold. Uh, all right. Thank you, nightmares. Thank you, nightmares. Thank you, thank you. All right. Put that one right on it so we know. Oh, yeah. I like keep it separate. I'll just put it. Okay, I think we'll hold off on those other ones. Or... Yep. Yep. Because that one didn't even go. So, all right. Um, that's it. That's it for unless you want. Unless you want me to get another. 
craft lot, but we tried yeah. two, so there's no sense. Yeah, no. Guys, the, oh my, oh, I'm yeah. tripping. Thank you so much, guys. We're getting, we're getting back on here. Hold on. We'll be right here. Hold on a second. Are you really making us do this right now? <laughs> I gotta turn off the right microphone and all. La 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 Hey, there we are. All right, be honest. When you guys go live, <laughs> are you comfortable from like here down? Be be honest. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> I'm gonna raise this a little. Thank you everybody for being here. Thank you everybody that <coughs> For bidding or for not bidding for looking and all that good kind of stuff yeah make sure you share 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 for everybody um thank rosie, you moderators Ro rosie has a channel regular guy nightmare storage brats little, little miss, miss q, q. um Who else is watching? i don't know ah uh, we said nightmares we said rosie a lot of these people have lives too. Uh, Rosie is Wednesday, Wednesday. Night. Nightmares is Friday. Um, I'm trying to think. And you guys know all the big dogs. But you know what, guys? I challenge you. I challenge you this week to go out and find some new channels. Because I'm going to tell you what. I started looking at other channels and um, I love, I love um, Guapo and Chapo and I love, you know, Jeremy and, and I love all those big people, but it's the little people that I actually have really changed my attitude. Little I, people helping little people. Yeah. You know? I've been really going to small, smaller um, channels Good night. Bless you. Gladys. Uh, yes. God bless you. Good night. Thank you for um, stopping, Gladys. But yeah, I challenge we'll you to find week. three new channels this week. Three new channels that you never, ever watched. You never paid attention to. Guys, you'd be amazed. I found some awesome deals. people yeah, this deals. week. Yeah, make deals. Um Yes, they have a channel. Thank you, Rosie. Um, You're I know right, Mid Tracy Kicks. It is the, the big channels aren't here, it's the small ones supporting each other. It is. We and do we do get some of the bigger ones stopping in at times. They right. stop in and that's about it. Yeah. Um, we're close to hundred subs. We are at eighty-two. Um at a hundred, I'm going to let viewers choose what color to dye my beard. <laughs> That's cool. Very cool. Yeah. The big dogs, guess what? They're already big dogs. They're making money. You know, um, I saw it's been months ago, but there's this YouTube channel that if you send a YouTube channel name to them. They will actually figure out for you what they make in a year. And, um, you know, at that time, this channel had, they were between two and 300,000, maybe more. I don't know. But. Um, and you guys all know who it is. You know who it is. Um, Thank you, Hunt, Huntsman Pixie. Awesome. They, Tracy you, Kicks. You all watch him. I know you do. You all watch him and his girl. And you know what's going on with the warehouse and everything. $200,000. $200,000 in a year. Little okay. Miss Q, that's cool. Barbecue guy got a video coming out. Midnight Little Miss Q put one out tonight. Yay. Awesome. I'll have to take a watch. Just... Anyhow, um, go help the small channels. The big channels, they're making money. They have the viewers. Go help the little ones. You know, help nightmares get to 100. 
help storage brats. Storage brats, you you reached a hundred. You have something to be showing us. We're all waiting. Um, Rosie, Rosie, what's your next challenge? Where are you wanting to get to? Um, regular guy, where are you at? Um, you know, let's help regular guy get to 500. I don't think he's quite there, but he's almost there. But he has a goal for a thousand and he's going to do a big giveaway. Um, you know, find the little guys, help the little guys. And I challenge you, find three new channels. Guys, just tonight, I saw three new people jump on here because of who I went to. And I found somebody that I like to watch every morning at 730. And then I found other channels. There's more people than our little circle that's here right now that we can help and share and support and reach out to. You're right, Avery. That Avery has a channel. Let's go over and help him, guys. Watch all of his videos. Hit the thumbs up. He just had one, and I watched it, and I was actually, oh, we got a beautiful um, bedroom set. Just beautiful. He, oh. said, he said it. it's not to mention the uh, affiliates that those larger channels have. Yeah, yeah. I mean, okay, so Rosie has a goal of 250. Okay, July 31st, July 31st, Storage Brats are going to be live. You need to start getting a time at ready for us, guys. Um, Tim, you get the PayPal. I probably did. I'll check. Yes, Lomas Q, I, I'm, I know you're subscribed to everyone here. But, yeah, go check out other channels. I challenge you all to find three new channels that you're going to subscribe and try to at least watch like three of their videos, three channels, three videos. I learned a lot this week, reaching out to other people and watching new people. And it actually inspired me for new um, videos. You know, we're all so small yeah, and Avery, the affiliate, the affiliate program, you're right. So let's go help all those small people. You know, you might click on somebody and see, oh, my gosh, they have 995 subscribers. If you share them with us, we could be the ones that get them over a 1,000 and get them monetized where they're going to get their first paycheck maybe next month from YouTube. And all the hard work pays off. So I'm new and I love it. So Gladys, you have a, a YouTube channel. Guys, let's check out Gladys. And if she, Gladys, verify that for me, that you have a YouTube channel. And um, <clears throat> excuse me. And we'll, we'll all go check, check it out for sure, Gladys. You might be one of the ones I met here. I started watching other things in the mornings like last week and the week before. So anybody else have any other, like anybody want to challenge anybody to anything? All good, Michael Sams. You're going to put those coins in the bank. <laughs> Got all those banks now. Pretty cool. I'll tell you what, Michael Sams, we learned some stuff from him this week. Michael, when you start doing your lives, you need to talk about the stuff that you taught us this week. I have a goal for a great... Friend of mine and me by December 31st. Okay. Awesome. Thanks, Nightmares. 10 p.m. and now my kids come up to help organize inventory. They're Miss Q. <laughs> Are you kidding me, Miss Q? We appreciate you being here, Tracy Cakes. I think you should have a YouTube channel on your cupcakes here before yeah. long. Decorating, all that kind of stuff. I think people will be watching. Maybe. And I think what people should be we buying do too, when you know? we hit 275 KT? I don't know. I don't know. I think we're going to do something probably when we hit 500. Yep. We were going to do something goal. every hundred and, and 
we were going to do something with the community and the first hundred we did, but then Tim and I talked and we're like, um, we need to do something with our YouTube community, not our, not our local community. We love our local community and we do try to support a lot of the businesses, but we need to do stuff on here. What'd she say? Because we're so close in subs, LOLs. Yeah, I know. I know, Rosie. I think we're at 247 and you're at 243 maybe. I don't know. I the, I don't remember. I, I looked. So Gladys does have a channel. Uh, Avery All In said, by the way, eBay over, I think, $700 sales have to do tracking and signature confirmation. He wins an appeal on a $1,500 sale because of that. Anything that we sell that's over $100, we put, we make sure we have insurance on it. We got delivery confirmation on it. Anything over a hundred dollars. Wow. He won an appeal though. Yeah. That's really good. That, that's a De good one, Avery. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we try to always make sure even on our auctions, you know, like if something sells, for more than the allotted oh, amount. Good night, husband, Pixie. The allotted amount that is on the, the package, we make sure we put the extra insurance on it. And we hardly ever have to give refunds, but we actually had to give Miss Q a little bit of a refund. <laughs> I don't know what the post office did with this box of books. A box of books of all things. Just craziness. <laughs> oh you're welcome nightmares yeah that, that was crazy that box of books i sent a picture to, to a couple other people and they saw it thought, thought a dog took a bite out of the box before the mailman got it sat down <laughs> crazy 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 yeah barbecue guys we do it at 100 just to be safe you know Sometimes it depends on our customers, too, because we get some repeat business and they're like, you know, hey, don't spend the extra money. Just send it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they did get real hungry, Miss Q. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I mean, there's places out there, Tracy Cakes, that you can order order you can order bakery stuff online, and they ship it to you. You know, I don't know how cupcakes would be. You'd have to figure out a way to be able to ship them. But I think that um, I think a good Q and A would be someone talking about how best ways to describe items when listing. That's a good idea, Miss. That's Barbecue. actually a really good idea. Yeah. Wow, I can't believe that, Miss Q. The mailman didn't even say anything. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Rosie. Thank you very much. Have thank a good you, night. Rosie. Have a good night. Yeah, I def I think a good Q and A would be someone talking about best ways to describe items when listing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We'll have to think about who we could bring on. I actually, I really need to get. <sighs> You got to watch Thursday's video. I think Thursday's the day. Yeah. You guys got to watch Thursday's video. It's a special video. Instead of a lottery video this week, it's something else. I think you guys will really enjoy seeing it. Yeah. It was a dream come true for me. So it'll be good. The beginning is an auction. So make sure you that you watch get, it. To yeah. The end. Yep. Watch it to the end because, man. Good night, Miss Coconut. Are you That's really real? Good. Justin Halen, are you two transgenders? No, we're not. And if you're here to be a troll, then disappear, disappear. <laughs> we're just having we're we're people that like to have fun. Legally, I cannot sell on ship cakes, not commercial. I'm just a local baker. Baker will send cupcakes with gifts. Maybe you can do an unboxing. Ah, okay. Did not know that. That's cool. 
Oh, sounds good, Rosie. No, I was going to say, can you just block him or hide it or time him out? Yeah. <laughs> People are unbelievable. Well, that is my officially my first troll, maybe. I don't know. I guess people don't know how to have fun. We just come on every week with different hats or wigs and we have fun. <laughs> Gotta have fun in life, right, guys? Okay, Rosie. That good night. sounds good. That's a good idea. Good night, Gladys. Yeah, we'll definitely email us, Rosie. We'll talk to you. Me and barbecue. Think the like. I must have missed something. I have such a hard time reading the chat. And I feel like I'm like, <laughs> Oh, about how. Uh, Is there any way to make it bigger? No. <laughs> Even examples of how to ship things. Yeah. A lot of people have. I know when we, <laughs> my daughter, we, when we first tried showing her how to ship stuff. Oh, Lord. But I was the same way. I, uh, you have been trolled. Congrats. <laughs> Thanks, Tracy. <laughs> uh, Tim's playing around. You figured out how to put stuff up there, huh, baby? Yeah, and I don't know how to get it off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it, it disappeared. I guess if you hover over it, maybe. Rosie Pam wants to know if you got her payment. Yeah, Rosie, if you're still here, Pam wants to know if you got her payment. Yes, ma'am. Your stuff will go out tomorrow. There you go, Pam. Um, that's a good one, too. So we're definitely, I, I'm, I promise, I, I really like having somebody on here. I think it's like my dream, a couple of people that I dream to have on would be Harry Tornado for sure. I would love to have him on. Um, gosh, who else? I know oh, yeah. because of the tickets, I would love to have the scratching away guy because Tim really likes him because of the tickets. So that would be one. He, um, he's, he's, he's like down to earth. He's, he's funny. He when he wins, he's like, whoa! I mean, he just he's like his name, Scratch Life. That's who I who I watch. He's cool as heck. Michael Sam's email him. I, I'm I'm going to okay. I wanted to you know test it out a little bit. You know, um, like Storage Brats. I want to have you on here. I want to have the Barbecue Family on here. I want to have Rosie on here. Um, you know, we'll have nightmares on, you know, we'll, everybody that is Avery, I'd love to have Avery's on Avery on here. Anybody that has a YouTube channel, I'd love to have you on, especially Michael Sam said he's chicken. Oh <laughs> yeah. Mrs. Barbecue. Yes. Jeebus and Amber would be a dream of mine also. They really would. She actually talks to Amber sometimes. I so. do. I'm actually, I've messaged her not a whole lot, but we're actually watching because our plan is when they have their next yard sale, we already said day's notice. We don't even care. We're going down Friday. We're going to spend the night and then get up and be at their sale first thing Saturday morning soon as we know they're having one we got like go bags packed we so actually do have go we're, bags we're in the trunk of the car <laughs> so if we want to go we just say let's go yeah yeah we'll for a night so your non-youtubers can't go on i see how we rate oh no no i plan on having non-youtubers also like i actually talked to a gentleman and i hadn't gotten a hold of him but um a while ago and he specializes in magic cards and so he said what about having somebody on that can show people about magic cards um i mean i thought about you know maybe at tax time what about having an accountant on 
Um, you know, I just, thought just different things, different help, things, you know, any, so if you guys have any other I, ideas, that would be uh, great. Harry Tornado at Tim Higginbotham. Really? Tim is Harry Tornado? That's interesting. No. Oh, no, I no, misread no. that. Okay. No, he's telling him something else, I think. <laughs> I misread that. What's Harry, <laughs> Michael? He's saying Harry. He? I got it. I got it. I'm just trying to be smart no, with him. Because Harry Tornado, his name is Josh. Yeah, I'm just trying to be smart with him. There was a Michael. big thing in Cincinnati that a bunch of YouTubers got together. I got to find out about that because I'll go there for the weekend for that. But yeah, if anybody here. If you know of somebody that specializes in something that they could teach all of us, that would be great. You know, what if I found like a postal worker? Wouldn't it be cool to have a postal worker on here? So they could actually like give you the actual like, um, man, I have the best tax guy. I bet he would come on with y'all. Well, hey, talk to him. If he agrees, then... I'm actually going to get a calendar. I was telling Tim, I want to start booking ahead now, just to have it set up so that it's done. Ms. Q said it's hosted in a different city every year. It's a reseller's rally. Well, we'll have to find out uh, where now, it's at. And you go. need, Miss Q, find out where it is, when it is, and let's go. Yeah, I was so bummed. I was like, Michael Sams, get a hold of him because that would be really cool, you know? Cincinnati Picker hosted it this year. Oh, so a, a jeweler. jeweler. That's ah. a great idea, too. That is a great idea because we should be right. I learned down. so much about gold. So much that I I thought I knew about gold. I didn't know nothing about gold when I went to see this, this lady downtown Danielle. here. Danielle. Wonder if Danielle would have I bet you she it. would. She I mean, about the different type, different ways gold are not plated, not not filled, yeah. or, you know, gold electric, electric, whatever. Oh we'll yeah. We'll go talk to Danielle. That's All a kinds. really good idea. Write that in the book underneath our things for today. Heck yeah, I'm ready to go to it. I'll find out where it will be. Yeah, Miss Q, get on that. I don't have time. <laughs> uh, September barbecue, folks. September. Is it? September? I'll just say September. Seventh, six, seven, somewhere in there. Look it up. Let us know what your calendar looks like. <laughs> We're going to invade the Midwest. Yes, we are. Yeah. Put tax person and put Michael next to it. And jeweler and Danielle would be a good one to talk about like the gold and stuff regular guy said we're ready <laughs> mrs barbecue said we're you ready. you think you're ready <laughs> we're not that crazy we like to go to bed early <laughs> so you guys are probably going to keep us up so late this glass i do custom order cakes for every since wow where'd it go way up here already find out oh okay Oh, I'm waiting, barbecue guy. We got something I'll, special planned. I'll tell you what, storage brats. When we come down your way, we're going hunting for Harry Tornado. I'm gonna stalk all the all the Goodwills all day, <laughs> so I can run into Harry Tornado. I would be so excited. <laughs> His wife just went full time too. She quit her job and is going full time with him. That's amazing. We can't wait till August 14th. That's our wedding day, and we will try to be live, but there will be a lot of video. Awesome. You should be a YouTuber and a Superman train trip. You should do a YouTuber. A super fan train trip. And a Superman. Ah. Oh, a super fan train trip. Ah. Oh. See, I did big things with Boy Scouts, and I've been thinking, I'm like, man, wouldn't it be cool to do, like, like at Christmas time, or like have like if you're a YouTuber or a YouTuber fan, 
and have a big get together and do a Christmas exchange or something? Or what about New Year's Eve? Have a YouTube and YouTuber New Year's Eve party. <gasps> Hosted by the barbecues. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Barbecue, we could go down and find Harry. We'll just we'll just stalk. We'll just like go down there and just stalk for a week until we run into him. <laughs> I think that a New Year's Eve get together would be awesome. A YouTuber New Year's Eve retreat. Man, cool. that would be that'd be really cool. You would freeze to death up here in December. Ah, we got we got clothes for that. Um, KT Treasures, of course, we will do a collab unit. Of uh, definitely, without oh, a yes. doubt. Yes, yes. I the, man, a New Year's Eve YouTube man, guys. That's something we might. We have, to have talk some around. time, like. Yeah. This last year we stayed home, right? Because, we, of, the because of COVID. Yeah. But the year before, we had promised each other that we would always do some. Well, he promised me that we would always do something on New Year's Eve because. Um, Harry did the same thing, Mark. He was Saturday morning. Yeah, I know. Ooh. And he started going on Wednesdays to a small one. I don't know where it is, Michael, but he's going to one on Wednesdays, too, because his video just came out. But anyhow, he promised me we would always go out New Year's Eve because um, my previous marriage um, never went anywhere, never did anything. It was for 20-some years, so very disappointing. Oh, that's <laughs> cool, Michael Sam's. So. We'll be coming your way. Don't worry. Oh, yeah. We're saving that for when it gets cold, Michael. We can't go visit the barbecues and freeze to death. I would maybe try it, though. Do a live on New Year's. A live would be cool, but it'd be cool to do a live with a whole bunch of A YouTubers. whole bunch of other YouTubers. Like, if we could figure something Whether out. Whether you have a YouTube channel or not, it don't matter. You're on here watching videos and stuff. You're a YouTuber, too, you know? You're part of the fam. Yeah. It'd be cool, though. Like, man. Guys, we need to talk about that. Like, some of us that talk every day. Too bad you can't coordinate and have, like, a West Coast and a Midwest. And where you could do it, like, in the center East where Coast everybody could all, come. All, each, each one have. And, but we like oh, that. like having a live stream, yeah. like, West Coast, East Coast. Yeah. The middle, Midwest. Yeah. Uh, Mid Central, you know. Yeah, I have a big old thing. Yeah. I know I had heard somebody say about a bunch of YouTubers going to Cedar Point, but nothing ever came of that. No. Well, I'll get the grill, Michael Sam says. I thought you I thought you got a grill in that one unit. Tracy Kate. Florida smiling. for the new year. I agree. It needs to be somewhere warm. The center would be Florida. The center of what is Florida? Eric, go back to go back to geometry class. Florida is not in the center. <laughs> Florida is way in the southeast. <laughs> do it on the Hales Ranch. I, there's too much. There's too much. You need to do it somewhere that, that you don't have to worry about all the logistics. Well, the the insurance. Well, yeah, the, that's what I mean. The logistics, yeah. all that stuff. You need to have the enough bathrooms for everybody. And honestly, yeah, Tim, I mean. Security. All Jeremy that. knows us to see us at a at a sale, but as far as like, I I don't think Eric says don't tell him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hills are great, but we ain't there yet. Yeah, I agree. I mean, Michael. they know us to see us at an auction because we have talked to Jeremy and George at auctions and hung out. You know, when they're cleaning when they're in a storage unit or whatever, but you know, it's not, we're just acquaintances, I guess, because of what we do. So, but we, I'm, we do have, we do have auctions coming up next week. Oh, well they're next week, 27th and 28th. we got auctions coming up. Yeah. Public storage auctions. 
storage bags. When my flea market video airs, I think Friday, make sure the little man watches. I took a couple pictures for him and shout out to him. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's too. cool. Awesome, awesome. Batman Mike, I want to challenge Tim on lottery tickets. I'll lose. When we get when we um do the lot, we will next week, Mike. Well, I don't know if it will be next. No, wait. This yeah, next week, Mike. Yeah, we got the, something special planned for this Thursday. Yeah, we already our our book ends on Tuesday, so we just decided to put this other video in on Thursday. And once again, my whole week's worth of videos are done, guys. If I can impress upon you to try and get ahead, it's so much less stressful. Now, here's the thing. I'm screwed for next week. <laughs> oh, you, you just go to www.streamyard.com and don't pay for it. Just all you do is put your email in. They send you a code and you're in. Yeah. And do it now because you have to wait like a 20, 24 hours. 24. It, sometimes it takes them. Yeah. 24 to 48 hours to get your code. But once you get your first code, you can get a code easily. Yeah. I got a great challenge for the peak. Pick one person and tell them something nice because it could change their whole week. I agree. You're right, Nightmare. You're right. Um, just for instance, I'll say... Holy smokes, barbecue guy. Dang. Go. Go. That, go, well, regular three, three guy. Weeks, so that's like almost four weeks for you. That's awesome. You know, Nightmare is just going off of that. Maybe even... When somebody crosses your mind, just send them a message and say, hey, you were, you came to my mind. I hope you're having a blessed day. Um, so, yeah, nightmares. I agree. I talked to someone today that I know now that I need to contact this person a little bit more and because they need it, you know, or they might just, I don't even know. Nice, Miss Barbecue. Are I'm you up, are you up on the hubby now? Way to go! She's not even home. <laughs> Listen, Mrs. Barbecue, that is really great, and I would like limit it to five a day. Go enjoy yourself, lady. Go do something fun. <laughs> Two a week now, so they won't last long. Yeah, it's hard, regular guy. It really is. It's. Uh, once again, I'm just going to say it. I can't wait till this flip house is done. I need more time. It's hard for me to keep my house clean. It's hard for him to keep up with the laundry. Miss Gold's Q is five. Uh, Miss Barbecue's goal is five a day. That's a great goal. That's awesome. That's a really good goal. I mean, that, that's honestly, that's our goal right now with the flip house. Yeah. And. To be honest, I, I listed like 28 things the other day, so I just wasn't feeling health-wise. It, it wasn't there. I couldn't do the things I wanted to do outside and, and stuff. Some And some days it's like that. Yeah. We all have different days, you know, and it was just wasn't my day, but I could sit there and list, so I did. Yeah. And I got, and I got homemade chocolate chip cookies to boot. Yeah, baby. Thank you. He almost didn't get them. I didn't have any. I went, I got the butter out. I was all ready. I was going to surprise him. I was going to start baking and I go to get the brown sugar and here I was out. But, but you know what he did? I drugged myself. This man is so awesome. <laughs> I love him. I am very spoiled. I am a, I am a queen in my home, but he immediately got dressed and ran down to the store and got me brown sugar. It was a, it was a, it was a challenge, but it happened. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell he wanted chocolate chip cookies? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Sad thing is there's still some left. Yeah. <laughs> it made a really big batch this time. Oh, it did. Too. I don't there's know if kinds. it's, 
I think it's because I put the walnuts in them. Do you guys like walnuts in your um in your chocolate chip cookies? Yeah. Tracy Cakes, I am very envious of you and the bakery business that you have. I just want you to know that. I love baking. I love creating. Um, like I did a Barbie, uh, um, Barbie cake for my granddaughter, um, Cinderella. Um, but I really love baking. I really, really do. It's something I always dreamed of having was a bakery. Do you have any pictures of the one that you did for this year for her birthday for the home one? The Chucky one? Yeah. I didn't make that one. Oh, that's right. You didn't make that one. No, I didn't. I didn't make that one. Cake to do it. Show it to I don't. Are they asking to see a picture? No, but you can show them. What's yes, yes, yes? What's, What's yes, that? yes, yes for a regular guy barbecue? Walnuts in your chocolate chip cookies? Oh, yeah, because of the walnuts. Awesome. I get my pictures taken and my comps done, but listing I'm so far behind. I used to be that way, little Miss Q, and I don't, I do my, I get, I pull something out of the toad, I look at it, I look it up, I list it right on my phone and take pictures and type up everything on my phone and list it. Yeah, we do everything from our phone, guys. I don't, I don't, for take, eBay. I don't take a whole ton of pictures now until it's time to list. Yes, walnuts too. Oh, oh boy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, we do everything from our phone. I know some don't, and that's fine. They eat to each their own way, you know. Show pictures when you can. I'd love to see the other cakes, too. <laughs> I don't even know if I have any on here. I'll have to look. I'll send it to you, Tracy Cakes. I have to use my phone because Pam Pam broke my laptop. <gasps> Pam, Pam. Yeah. Did you get another laptop yet? Do you think that Nash could squeeze through that? I don't know. No. You have to try. I don't think so. I think no. His head's too big. My daughter-in-law has a uh, wiener dog. And they're trying to put pets up so that keeps it keeps the dog in and keeps Layla in too. My granddaughter. Oh, I, I got can't. five laptops and use my phone for everything. That's funny, barbecue guy. <laughs> we got I don't know how many computers we got. We got all over in the house. Yeah. Just like TVs, we got a TV in every room except for the bathroom, and I think we have one in there. I put one up. Yes, I like my TV. That could be my fault, guys. I I like my TV. I'm I'm bad at TV. <laughs> Just a little bit. I have to I learned something new I didn't know. I'm going to try it before I say anything. I don't want to be wrong. Well, now I'm that you told us silly. that much, you might as well tell us the rest. <laughs> You're not going to look silly. Just because if you're wrong, it doesn't matter. I mean, somebody will show you the right way or tell you the right way or whatever, or share the right way. That's what we're all here for. So, uh oh. Mama's Don't getting tired. Now. You've been up. He's actually been up longer than me because he had to drive to Pittsburgh today. <laughs> I had to drive an hour and 25 minutes, an hour and 30 minutes to go to the doctor. I'm there for two hours plus sitting in the, sitting in the uh, waiting room. And then I go back to see the doctor. I'm back with the doctor for like an hour. So then I got to drive an hour and a half back. And I just, I went to the flip house and worked for four hours pretty much. Yep. We got a lot so done today. So it's been today, a long though. day. I heard you can use StreamYard and do YouTube with your phone. Yes. Yes, you can. I I believe, don't you need to have so many subscribers before you can actually set up your stream from the See, phone? See, yeah, if you look up, um, you, a lot of the studying I've done, but 
it says you can't go live on YouTube until you have a thousand subscribers. I think I don't remember the numbers, but I don't know if that if that includes StreamYard though. Was that one that? Well, are we live on YouTube? We're on YouTube, but is it through StreamYard? It's live right now through StreamYard. Yes. So you should be able to go through StreamYard on your phone. I would, I would. And think four thousand so. watch hours. Yeah. See, they're all saying a thousand subs and four thousand watch hours. So, but the thing is, um. Uh, there's very it's very it's very well he could midwest I mean, with, was live the other day in their car were they on their phone yeah they were on their phone i'm pretty sure unless they got a laptop that has service like that i would like to see a group of you go live together and each have a few items to auction off yeah that's an idea that's been floating yeah we we're 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 working on it we're waiting for some people to um <coughs> um, <coughs> do what they need to do we got something really cool coming your way here one day we do we have something planned yes and they use StreamYard. really huh interesting i will have to check that out because that'd be cool yeah that'd be cool well, I'm not doing more than one live a week right now. <laughs> <clears throat> well, anybody got anything else? I'm looking. Oh, well, babe, we need to be up tomorrow yeah, to go to work. Where well, everyone? We appreciate y'all being here. And we got packages to do. Yeah, we got some packages to do. We got some sleep to get. You know, all that kind of stuff. So, if everyone want to join us in saying a prayer. Your turn. What? Your turn. My turn. Yep. All right. All right. If you if you so wish, bow your heads. Remove your hats if you wish. Whatever you, Whatever your preference is. Dear Lord, thank you for this wonderful week that we've had. Thank you for all of our YouTube friends and family. Uh, you know they mean a lot to us. Um, I pray for all of those traveling this week um, that have traveled away from home and that are maybe coming back home, that you wrap your arms around them and protect them as they are away from us or as they are coming back to us. Um, thank you for every day. Thank you for the sun. Thank you for the rain. And thank you for everything that you give to us. Um, bless all of those that are here with us tonight, that they have a wonderful week. Uh, anyone that needs a special healing, please, Lord, just touch them now. Touch them now and heal them and make them feel whole. Um, thank you for all that you do for us. Thank you for each other and just thank you for everything. All right, Lord. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, folks. Have a great week. That's fine, Tracy Cakes. Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. Yes, thank you, YouTube friends. Thank you, YouTube friends and family. We love you very, very much. <laughs>